I lost nearly three stone by taking Ozempic. It worries me for young people that in the wrong hands, it could be quite dangerous. I think it's amazing and I think it's great for them. Why not do it through something that isn't as boring as working out? And the people who hate it on the most, the people who are secretly doing it or pissed off that they can't afford it. If you kick every Latino out of this country, then who is going to be cleaning your toilet, Donald Trump? Oh. If I saw that clip just with the 10 seconds, I'd hate me too. Kelly Osborne knows how to piss people off. Whether she is making crude comments about Mexican people or shaming poor people for not being able to afford Ozempic. She's got a seriously spoiled brat mentality and Kelly Osborne needs a reality check. So let's get into it. If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, deep dives, and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. Looking at Kelly Osborne and the things that she has said, you would have no idea that she grew up in a famous family around cameras because she needs serious PR training. I mean, maybe this is just how her mind works, but the things that she has said are so offensive. Like more recently, how she went onto the red carpet and she said that the only people who hate on Ozempic are the ones who can't afford it because why would she want to go and waste time in the gym when she can get skinny on Ozempic? In recent months, her mother, Sharon Osborne, has become one of the most vocal critics of Ozempic, a drug that has recently become popular with celebrities because of its weight loss benefits. Ozempic hasn't been approved by the FDA for weight management, and instead, it's supposed to be used by adults with heart disease or diabetes. Later that year, Sharon admitted that she had been using the drug for weight loss, but she lost a lot more weight than she intended to. She said, I know I look gaunt. I know everything that goes along with it. I'm too gaunt. I can't put weight on. I want to because I feel like I'm too skinny. Be careful what you wish for. She also acknowledged that the the drug can be very dangerous because the weight loss becomes addictive, which I've personally seen in people that, you know, people in my own life where they are a little bit addicted to that Ozempic weight loss. During an appearance on a UK talk show, Good Morning Britain in November, Sharon said Ozempic shouldn't be available to young people for weight loss because people need to totally understand the side effects that come with taking it. She also reiterated that she wanted to gain a few pounds, but her body is not listening as a result of her Ozempic usage. Sharon added that her extreme weight loss has unsettled her husband husband, Ozzy Osbourne, because now he is scared for her health. Here's a clip of Sharon talking about her experience using Ozempic. I lost nearly three stone by taking Ozempic and I came to the decision with my doctors that I had definitely lost enough weight and I, I stopped taking it. And it worries me for young people that in the wrong hands, it could be quite dangerous. When you're buying it, online what process do you have to go through to get it when i first started i went with a company online and they just sent me a whatsapp and said here's the um guide and i had a pharmacist and call me once to check that i was okay but there was no other monitoring no 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 and they were like yeah okay that's 149 pounds please what about side effects because when I first started to take it, I felt nauseous the whole time. I've had the occasional bit of, I'd say, seasicky sort of feeling. Yeah. I've heard that as well, that Ozimbe can make you nauseous as hell, which I always, I get nauseous just from existing. So Ozempic is not something I ever want to be on. But despite all of this, Sharon's daughter, Kelly Osborne, has actually praised Ozempic and she is all about it. So she's not taking her mom's advice. Speaking to E! News, Kelly Osborne said that she thinks the drug is amazing. Quote, there are millions of ways to lose weight. Why not do it through something that isn't as boring as working out? Now, what she's saying isn't necessarily necessarily the worst thing ever. It's the way that she's saying it. It's her tone, how pretentious she is about taking this drug and the people who can't afford it, how they're all just haters. I think it's amazing and I think it's great for them. There are a million ways to lose weight. Why not do it through something that isn't as boring as working out? People hate on it because they want to do it. And the people who hate it on the most, the people who are secretly doing it or pissed off that they can't afford it. And that's just Unfortunately, right now, it's it's something that is very expensive, but it eventually won't be because it actually works. Yeah. Eventually, it won't be because it actually works. I like how she acts like she's got some pharmaceutical advice. Needless to say, people have taken to social media to call out Kelly and what she said and just... Um, you know, kind of scrutinizing her for this whole, like, you can't afford it, so that's why you hate it vibe, which 
I mean, listen to your mother. There are some serious implications of taking this drug. And you guys may have heard that we have had Ozempic shortages because so many people are on it, especially here in LA. It's like, damn, are they pumping it through the water at this point? One person wrote, actually, I think it's mostly diabetic people who can't access their medication because everyone else is using it as a get skinny quick fix, but okay. Another person wrote, rich people have easy access to healthy food options, personal trainers, and chefs, but they choose to take Ozempic that's not meant for them and causing shortages for those who truly need it. Somebody else wrote, she's so out of touch and ignorant, it's beyond comical at this point. It's just embarrassing. Another person added, didn't her own mom say she had to stop using Ozempic because she got really sick, lost 42 pounds in four months on it, and couldn't gain it back? The same was being said over on Reddit, where one user wrote, yes, Kelly, that's why people are complaining, because we're jealous pores. Not at all because of the weight loss craze that has caused medical shortages for diabetics or anything like that. This person wrote, sure, my mom mom who's diabetic had to switch medications because people who don't actually need it are using it and she can never get it refilled because we're all just haters. Others felt like it was irresponsible of Kelly to promote taking an unnecessary drug that could have some unpleasant side effects. Again, it makes you nauseous, but then look what your own mother had gone through. So then why is Kelly such an advocate for something that her mother is advocating against? Quote, side effects are vomiting and diarrhea. It works because they probably can't keep anything down. My dad has been on a variety of these weekly shots for diabetes and has lost weight, but it's because his appetite is super suppressed. He hates it because he goes through managing his sugar and he has no interest in eating. So it actually causes a lot of difficulties. So my problem is drugs like Ozempic are designed for people who are severely overweight and or dealing with diabetes, not the casual person who might be slightly overweight and wants to take shortcuts. Now, look, if you decide this is something that you want to do and you've discussed it with your doctor, then so be it. My issue is when you have people in the public light who have massive followings like her for some reason, talking about doing this instead of adapting a healthy lifestyle, eating better and moving more. It's already been proven that drugs like Ozempic cause GI issues. And I mean, for real, who wants to be vomiting and, and nauseous and constipated all day long? But it's been recently reported that Ozempic and drugs like that cause a decrease in lean muscle mass. So like I say, not all weight loss is good weight loss. And if you are sacrificing lean muscle mass in order for the number on the scale to go down, you are sacrificing your long-term health. Now, this isn't the first time that Kelly Osbourne has made some really nasty comments. Like the time she almost destroyed her entire career after making some comments on The View. So they were talking about Donald Trump and Kelly thought it would be witty to say that, um, you know, he shouldn't have a certain immigration stance because if he does, then Mexican people trying to, I guess it's like another ignorant thing to just call like Hispanic people like Mexicans. So saying the, the Mexicans aren't going to clean your toilets. And I'm sure you guys have seen this clip because it is just so cringe. There, there are a lot of Latinos here in this country that do agree that the immigration problem is a problem and it does need to be addressed and it does need to be fixed. Interesting. But making uh, those comments, those racist comments, do not help. And, it does, and if, yeah. you, if you kick every Latino out of this country, then who is going to be cleaning your toilet, Donald Trump? <gasps> oh, that's no. In the sense that, no. you know what I mean? Like, no. what I'm saying there's that- more, There's more jobs to be- In LA, they always- But, but, but they Latinos don't, are not only the no, only people No, I didn't mean it like that. that, come on. No, I would never no, mean it like that. that. She would never mean it like that. Then how did you mean it? I mean, speaking the same way that he would or other people would doesn't, like, fix the problem. Kelly then apologized on Facebook after the public reacted to her statement saying, I wanted to start by saying I always take responsibility for my actions. In this particular case, I will take responsibility for my poor choice of words, but I will not apologize for being a racist because she is not. That's what she's saying. Speaking to Rolling Stone, Kelly said that the response to her comments were painful, life-changing, and chaotic. She added, I learned when to shut up and stop talking. I'm definitely not the person I was before that incident. Well, it doesn't seem like she learned much of a lesson with her Ozempic comments. If I saw that clip just for the 10 seconds, I'd hate me too. But I got cut off. I didn't get to finish what I was going to say, which turned the first half of it into a joke. But I'm okay with people calling me whatever they want to call me. However, I'm not okay that I hurt people's feelings. It was my poor choice of words and it doesn't reflect my opinion at all and I don't quite understand how it got this big considering like Rosie and I are really good friends. It came out of my mouth, I own it and I will do whatever I have to do to make it right. 
So I think at this point in the video, we can all say that Kelly has ruffled some feathers in Hollywood, and she's also had some feuds, one in particular with Christina Aguilera. The two were pitted against each other long before meeting in person. As a result, they never held off on saying harsh things about each other in the press. It all started with Kelly mocking Christina's My Kind of Christmas album in an episode of their reality show. Kelly mimics Christina's voice in her vocal growl, saying, I'm not kidding, I wanted to stab myself saying that she just did not like Christina's voice and it was so repulsive to her that she would rather, you know, unalive herself than listen to Christina's music. It all started when Kelly made fun of Christina's Christmas CD on the MTV show. And it's going to be divorced and then it And I'm not kidding you, I wanted to f***ing stab myself. One time, Kelly told the press that she, Christina, is one of the most disgusting human beings in the world. She even said that she's seen drag queens that look better. Ironically, Kelly insisted that it was Christina who was actually bullying her, but Christina revealed that she finally confronted Kelly in person. Christina said, personally, I think Kelly has a crush on me because she's so obsessed with talking about me. I tried to confront her at the club, I think, and she was totally backed up. She was just like, I don't have anything to say about you, blah, 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 that's not me. That's my mother. When I confronted her in person, she really had nothing to say, so I don't know. Here's Christina talking about that moment to the press. I personally think she has a crush on me because she seems so obsessed with talking about me. You know, I tried to confront her at a club, I think, and she just totally backed up. She was just like, I don't have anything to say about you, blah, 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 blah. That's not me. That's my mother. When I confronted her in person, she really had nothing to say, so I don't know, Kelly. At the MTV Europe Music Awards that year, it was reported that Christina refused to walk the red carpet at the same time as Kelly. Kelly reacted by calling Christina's music crap and calling her a cow, which was honestly big coming from Kelly, who later lost 85 pounds undergoing gastric sleeve surgery. Their feud died down for a couple of years until 2011 when Christina bought the Osbournes $11.5 million home in Beverly Hills. Of course, Kelly wasn't pleased that Christina was the buyer. The singer also resold the mansion for $13.5 million, which sparked rumors that Christina only ever purchased the Osborne home in spite of Kelly and to be shady. Kelly has again commented on Christina's weight, saying, maybe she's becoming the B-word she was born to be. I don't know, she said at that time. She called me fat for so many effing years, so you know what? F you, you're fat too. People are still on me about Christina Aguilera from when I was like now, I don't 16. even remember what the Christina... She bought my house! Like, what are we... Get, get well, somebody, get over somebody wrote about the booger that you use it really true that you put a booger on her car no, or on her dress a booger on her car or her dress <laughs> who picks their nose and wipes it on things that was one of the questions somebody wrote wait no what i what did was, was the beef with her or supposed beef? We were, it wasn't basically we were recording in the same studio she kicked my door and called me a fat bitch i spat on her car that was the end of it at the studio at yeah. the studio my mom why did she call you a fat bitch because i was and then my i don't think i didn't i ever thought that it was going to be repeated and at that time i didn't realize like Every action has a reaction. So I fought back. I'm like, I'm going to defend myself. This is... And then it was just like a war. She bought the house. We filmed the Osbournes in. She bought my house. Like, the handles on the door, were, like, the, the hinges of the door yeah. were made out of iron of my hands. Nowadays, it doesn't seem like these two are, you know, on talking terms or getting along by any means. This article reports that Christina and Kelly have grown so much since their public spat, quite literally. The former's faces have notably changed in the past years, while the later's cheeks have dramatically slimmed down as well. You could say that they're not just the same people they were back then because they both have had work done and celebrity things and all of that. And it's all kind of ridiculous. And I think Kelly Osborne is the definition of ridiculous. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. If you're on Ozempic or you know someone, comment below what you think of it and like this whole wave of people doing it. Leave your thoughts below and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye guys.